Hey there, welcome back to Tech Beads. In this video, we're going to explore some truly mind-blowing concepts that will leave you in awe. From flying cars to futuristic cities, we've got it all. So sit back, relax, and get ready to be amazed. If you haven't already don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss out on our latest uploads. Let's get started. Have you heard about the Alpine A4810? It's a concept supercar that has been developed by the French automaker Alpine in collaboration with Italian design students. What's unique about this supercar is that it runs on hydrogen fuel cells, which is an eco-friendly alternative to traditional gasoline engines. The model is named after the iconic Mont Blanc Peak, which stands at 4,810 meters and is the highest mountain in the EU. This is a fitting tribute to the brand's alpine roots and the region's mountainous landscape, which has inspired their design philosophy. The design of the Alpine A4810 is inspired by Formula One cars and features an extensive use of carbon fiber to make it lightweight and efficient. The color scheme creates a striking contrast, highlighting the most attractive elements of the car. While the Alpine A4810 is not intended for commercial production, it's a great way to showcase the talent of the next generation of automotive designers and pay homage to Alpine's history. I think it's a commendable effort on the part of Alpine to encourage innovation and creativity in the automotive industry. Overall, I believe that the Alpine A4810 is a fascinating concept that shows how automakers can create high-performance vehicles that are also eco-friendly. I hope that more car manufacturers follow suit and invest in sustainable technologies to reduce their carbon footprint and make a positive impact on the environment. The Mars Habitat Project by Hassel Plusiosig is a fascinating concept that provides an answer to the question of where people would live if there was life on Mars. The project was created as part of a NASA competition to find interesting ideas for a Martian home using 3D printing technology, and it was so impressive that it made it into the top 10. The concept behind Mars Habitat involves sending robots to the Red Planet to use Martian regolith to create an external shell, which would be later used by humans to create living and working spaces. It may sound like science fiction, but the idea of colonizing Mars has been discussed for a long time, with Elon Musk aiming to establish a human presence on Mars by 2029. Overall, the Mars Habitat Project is an exciting idea that could pave the way for future exploration and colonization of our neighboring planet. It's a fascinating idea presented by the South Korean company at CES 2022 where they showcased their vision of the city of the future and various transport innovations. One of the exciting features of this concept is their focus on robotics and the metaverse, which is an ever-active virtual space for various interactions. It's interesting to see how Hyundai is looking beyond just vehicles and thinking about how people can interact with their surroundings in the future. Another area where Hyundai is showing their commitment is towards people with limited mobility. They've designed pods called plug and drive modules that help these individuals move around the city effortlessly. These pods dock with a special platform to create a kind of bus, making mobility more accessible for everyone. Additionally, Hyundai's concept includes vertical takeoff and landing vehicles that will be actively used in the future. It's exciting to think about how these futuristic vehicles could change the way we travel. The ultimate goal of this concept is to implement the mobility of things ecosystem, which means seamless mobility in cities and challenging the existing modes of transportation. I think this is a great initiative from Hyundai, and it's commendable how they're thinking about not just the vehicles but also the overall ecosystem that these vehicles will operate in. Overall, I believe that the Hyundai Future Mobility concept is an excellent step towards the future of transportation. It's fascinating to see how companies like Hyundai are thinking about the big picture and considering various aspects of our lives while designing vehicles and transportation systems for the future. Have you heard about the Martini 6.0? It's an impressive 150-foot catamaran yacht that comes with a unique stabilization system developed by Servo Yachts and Shuttleworth Design. The most exciting feature of this vessel is its active suspension system that offers a stroke of 16 feet, 
ensuring unparalleled comfort even when sailing through rough seas. The Martini 6.0 uses advanced electronic systems to evaluate its surroundings in real-time and automatically adjust the suspension to keep the deck in a horizontal position. I think this feature is particularly impressive as it ensures that passengers will have a smooth and comfortable sailing experience regardless of weather conditions. There are already several versions of the Martini 6.0 yacht available, including one that accommodates up to 10 guests and 11 crew members. I think this makes it a great option for people who love to entertain guests or have a large family. Overall, I believe that the Martini 6.0 is a game-changer in the world of yachting. With its cutting-edge technology and exceptional stability, it has the potential to revolutionize the way we enjoy cruising the seas and oceans. In a recent update, we have learned that the Mojo Lens is not just a prank, but a real working prototype. This gadget is built with a micro-LED display, which is as tiny as a grain of sand, along with smart sensors and an ARMCORE M0 processor. The lens can upgrade your vision, displaying maps, messages, and other options directly in front of your eyes like in a video game. This gadget is powered by built-in batteries that can last a whole day on one charge. Unfortunately, the recharging method remains a secret for now. As of now, we cannot talk about mass production, as the device needs to be tested by volunteers before being sent to the US FDA for approval. However, the team has specified that the price will be comparable to that of a high-end smartphone. In my opinion, the Mojo Lens is an exciting and innovative device that has a lot of potential for the future. It will be interesting to see how this technology develops and how it can enhance our daily lives. Let's take a look at an incredible creation by Lazzarini Design, the Pangios Terayat. This massive floating structure is larger than the Colosseum and can accommodate up to 60,000 people. It includes hotels, parks, shopping malls, and even airports, and is designed to look like a giant turtle. If built today, it would be the largest structure on the planet, measuring 1,804 feet long and 2,001 feet wide. Powered by 916,800 horsepower HTS electric motors, the turtle can cruise at an expected speed of about 5.8 miles per hour. The fins on the turtle help to catch the energy of the waves. Although the authors invite everyone to invest in the project, it would require a massive investment of about $8 billion, and the construction process would take around 8 years. It's an impressive concept, but whether it will come to fruition remains to be seen. Are you familiar with TCL SOT's latest breakthrough in display technology? Chinese engineers have come up with an incredible design that allows displays to be twisted and rolled, making them very compact and versatile. One of their products is a 17-inch OLED screen that's only 0.08 inches thick. They've also created a tiny AMOLED screen that measures 6.7 inches and expands to 7.8 inches with a single tap. This is a remarkable feat of engineering that showcases the limitless possibilities of flexible display technology. What's even more exciting is that the production cost of these displays has been reduced by about 20%, making them more affordable and bringing us one step closer to mass implementation. According to the manufacturers, the market potential for flexible displays is enormous, and by 2025, smartphones with flexible displays are expected to be 80% more profitable. Overall, I think TCL SOT's display technology is truly impressive and has the potential to revolutionize the electronics industry. With the ability to roll and twist these displays, the possibilities are endless, and I can't wait to see how this technology will be implemented in various devices in the future. Have you seen the Bayeria concept car that was showcased at the Michelin Design Challenge Showcase in 2011? It's not just an electric car, but also a purification station that inhales dirty air, filters it and exhales clean air. 
This concept is relevant today, as over 90% of the planet's population is breathing polluted air beyond the norm. The design of the Viaria is very interesting, resembling that of insects with legs that change position depending on the driving mode. The car is about 13 feet long and 5 feet wide. Although it has been over a decade since its inception, the concept remains innovative and offers a unique solution to air pollution. I think it would be great to see more environmentally friendly vehicles like the Viaria on our roads in the future. Space tourism is becoming increasingly popular, with companies such as Virgin Galactic offering tickets for $450,000. However, there are more affordable options available, such as the virtual space tourism flight offered by Worldview for $50,000. One of the unique features of this experience is that the capsule carrying the tourists is launched on a helium balloon, allowing for a longer flight than Virgin Galactic's flights. Additionally, the capsules will be launched from stunning locations such as the Grand Canyon and the Great Barrier Reef. The capsule can accommodate eight tourists and two crew members and will reach an ascent altitude of around 100,000 feet. While Worldview's trip is more of a stratospheric flight than a space flight, it is a cheaper option, and the first launch pads are set to open in 2024. Overall, virtual space tourism flights provide a unique and exciting way to experience the thrill of space exploration without the hefty price tag. Volkswagen is taking the idea of personal transportation to new heights, literally. Their Chinese division has recently unveiled a prototype of their V.MOEVTOL, the Vemo Flying Tiger, which has already started being tested. This vehicle is designed for four passengers and can fly up to 124 miles, taking off and landing vertically. It was developed from scratch and is the first of many milestones in the exciting journey towards urban air travel. Initially, it will be a VIP transport and then help in city and intercity transportation, ultimately helping to avoid traffic congestion like the infamous 160-mile traffic jam on the Beijing-Tibet Highway. The idea of personal flying vehicles may sound like something out of a sci-fi movie, but it's becoming a reality. The Vemo Flying Tiger is an impressive prototype that showcases the potential of electric vertical takeoff and landing technology. This type of transport could revolutionize the way we travel, making it faster, more efficient, and less congested. It will be interesting to see how the technology evolves and how it will be adopted in the future. What do you think about this incredible concept? Let us know in the comments below.